On December the 10th, the Syrian Arab army SAA and Hezbollah launched a military operation to clear the eastern Syrian desert area of ISIS. According to pro-government sources, the SAA and Hezbollah liberated about 2,000 kilometers in the area between the T2 pumping station and the city of al Mayadin during the first day of the operation. The US-led coalition believes that about 3,000 ISIS members remain in Iraq. If this is true, a notable part of them must be hiding in the Syrian desert. The liberation of this area will be an important part of the preparation for future anti-terrorist operations of the Iranian-Russian-Syrian alliance in Syria. Recently, the US-backed Syrian Democratic Forces, SDF, also resumed their efforts to take control of the border with Iraq, sparking clashes with ISIS. According to the ISIS-linked news agency, AMAC, members of ISIS captured three positions from the SDF around the village of Hawi Abu Hamam, as well as killed 14 members of the SDF and destroyed a Humvee and another SDF vehicle. AMAC also claimed that an SDF member was killed by an IED and two others by ISIS snipers, south of the Omar oil fields. ISIS was forced to intensify its operations against the US-backed forces because its members had been locked in the Syrian border area as a result of an advance by the Iraqi army and the popular mobilization units on the Iraqi side of the border. On December the 10th, in northeastern Hama, the SAA and the National Defense Forces liberated the villages of Zafaria, Talbulus, Um Turaikiya, Rujum al Ama, Shutaib, Musharifa, and al Hawiya from Hayat Tariya al Sham, formerly Chapat al Nusra, the Syrian branch of al Qaeda. Thus, government troops were able to deploy near the important village of Abu Dali, which has been described as a mid-term goal of the SAA advance on Hayat Tariya al-Sham HTS in the area. According to pro-government sources, the Tiger Forces and their commander, General Suhail al-Hassan, will be the main striking force of the operation. Recently, al-Hassan was spotted in the town of Khanassia. Pro-HTS sources report multiple air and artillery strikes on positions of HTS across the entire area west of the Khanasir Highway. On December the 8th, Russia's Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov announced that the situation in Idlib remains complex and Iran, Turkey, Russia and Syria are working to launch a de-escalation zone and added that there are no plans with the United States on this specific region because they would be counterproductive. The statement indicates that nobody will be taking into account the opinion of Washington on the so-called moderate rebels should the Syrian-Iranian-Russian alliance launch a large-scale operation against HTS. On December the 11th, Russian President Vladimir Putin visited the Russian military airbase of Khmeimim in the province of Latakia and ordered the start of the withdrawal of Russian troops from the country. The president added, that should terrorists gain the upper hand in the country, Russia will carry out strikes, the likes of which they've never seen.